Hi everybody, in this video we're going to talk about composition of functions. Now uh, I've written out two functions here, function f and g, and there's some interesting symbols that you may not be used to seeing. Uh, the first way to write composition of functions is with this little circle. <clears throat> this, this reads f composed with g. And what that means, and you'll see a little x right here, what that means is you take function g and you stick it into function f. Currently, function f is 2 times something plus 3. I'll just put a blank there. <clears throat> and uh, so if you put g into f, you just put x squared plus 4x plus 5, where they used to just be an x. Um, and then you can multiply it out. 2x squared plus 8x plus 10 plus 3 is just 2x squared plus 8x plus 13. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you do G composed with F, uh, that is the opposite where you take function G, which is X squared plus 4 times X plus 5. And then you just put in F. F goes into G. Uh, so that would be 2X plus 3 and 2X plus 3. Function f goes into g everywhere you used to see an x. And uh, you can multiply this out. This is 2x plus 3 times itself. 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times 3 is 12. And then plus 5 just kind of hangs out there. And ultimately, if you use FOIL to multiply this out, 2x times 2x is 4x squared. This is 6x, and then another 6x makes 12x. And then with the 8x, you get 20x, ultimately. 3 times 3 is 9. Add that to 12, and you get 21. And then 5 more is 26. So that, in a nutshell, is how you do composition of functions. Um, this can also be written as, I'll say, or g with f of x plugged in. Sorry, there you go. g with f of x plugged in. That means the exact same as this. Uh, here you could have written this guy as f with g of x plugged in. That's the same thing. So let's practice plugging some numbers in. I'll make another example. Uh, we'll do f of x is 3x squared plus x plus 1. g of x will be, um, uh, how about just... Uh, uh, x cubed plus 1. Fair enough. So uh, this time I want to do f of g of 2. So what that means is I'm going to put um, I'm going to put g into f and then put 2 into everything that is that you have at the end. Uh, another option, th th another way to do the same thing is put 2 into g and then put that into F. You always work from the right to the left. I'll, I'll do it both ways uh, so you can see how this pans out. Uh, function F currently is 3x squared plus x plus 1. So if I put function G into here where we used to have an x, and here we just have x cubed plus 1, x cubed plus 1, and uh, then you would have to put a 2 in everywhere you see an x. This is actually my least favorite way to do it. I, I prefer to put a number in um, at the front end, but I'll show you both ways. Uh, so I've just put a 2 everywhere there used to be an x, and we get 3 times, that's uh, 2 cubed is 8, plus 1 makes 9 squared, 8 plus 1 is 9 plus 1, and finally, that's 80, 3 times 81, and then plus 10, 81 there, so 240, 3 plus 10 is 253. Okay, let me show you my favorite way to do this. Um, a lot of teachers teach you like this, but let me show you what I would do here. F composed of G of 2. Think of this as F with G of 2 plugged in. That's, that's kind of my favorite way to think about this. So what is G of 2? You know, what is G of 2? Well, here's G. You're going to put 2 in there, so you get 2 cubed plus 1. G of 2 is 9. So actually, you're really dealing with f of 9. 
And then you can see what f is. Uh, so f of 9 is going to be 3 times 9 squared plus 9 plus 1. It comes out to be the same thing, obviously. 3 times 81 plus 9 plus 1 is still 253. So anyway, I hope that helps with composition of functions. It sounds really hard, and it looks confusing at first because of this little circle that's the composed with. But uh, just deep down, it's not that hard. I hope this helps. Uh, have a good day.